Okay, this is it. Kalasoy Arak. A hidden jewel here. Yeah. Okay, you know it's got to be a good place when they've converted a garage into a restaurant. It's the locals' favorite. Not many foreigners come here. All right, more cow soy. Okay, well, Gypsy's about ready to taste this. Nice looking bowl. The broth has a nice color. And the additional condiments, which is a little lemon to squeeze, some shallots, and some other kind of a pickled vegetable. Okay, well now it's time for the taste test. You'll always want to taste the sauce, the juice first. Oh. Boy, that's really good. And then you can adjust the flavor with uh, some of the spices. Plus, add the uh, lemon juice. The condiments and a little chili powder. Cow soy. Mm, very good, but I must say the temperature of the uh, liquid is not high enough. It's kind of it's just barely lukewarm. So for that I have to give lower marks to this place. Okay, Gypsy's time to finish this off. Okay, we're here at the restaurant. Well, I'm having a, a little bit problem pronouncing the, the name. <laughs> This is the famous Khao Soy restaurant reviewed by that famous foodie in YouTube, Mark. And it's also a Michelin starred restaurant. Three years in a row they received a Michelin star. And we're going to find out why real soon. Okay, this morning we're at my first Michelin starred restaurant. This was uh, reviewed by Mark Wines. That's how I learned about it. So I'm waiting in line for my turn to have some cow soy here at one of the top places in Thailand where there is always a lineup of people waiting to get in. Okay, well, I started in on my cow soy with beef. It's very delicious. And as we look up, we still see there are people waiting in line. Okay, now for the true taste. Soy. The original. Well, maybe not the original, but it's delicious. And excuse the fork, I'm still practicing on the chopsticks. I'll get it down here sooner or later. Okay, time to eat more cow soy. Oh boy! Well, I finished the job, and at 55 baht, what a bargain! These are the cheap eats here in Thailand. 
And let's let's see the the prep area here. They put the ingredients in the bowl, and then she puts the desired soup into it. And presto, it's ready. Doesn't take very long to prep this. But the real skill is making the soup broth. And they look like they make some uh, big quantities of that here. Okay, so much food. So little time. Well, here we have another one of the uh, Michelin starred restaurants nearby. And for some reason, there's no lineup tonight. I'm lucky. So, the name of this restaurant is. Cow Soy Neiman. It's a very nice restaurant, really nice atmosphere. And their cow soy is considered by some to be one of the best. So it's time to eat. We have a whole crew just waiting. Oh, anything available? Yeah. Oh, outside, outside. Okay, yeah. So you have a choice of outside or inside here. Okay, I got a nice seat here with a great view. And here's the menu. Cow soy. Yeah, they have various types of cow soy and many more things in here, actually. This is not just for cow soy. Okay. Oh, look, the the fan <laughs> opened the book for me automatically. All right, time to order. Well, they have a big assortment here, starting at 90 baht to uh, 145, and then we have the deluxe ones here, which are 175 and 195. Cow soy and northern Thai food. And now we get into all the specialty items here in the in the next pages. Okay, dinner is served. Here's the cow soy. And there's condiments that are with it. Onions and other uh, vegetables plus a little lemon. The cow soy, all the noodles are down on the bottom. Got crispy noodles on top, some delicious pork. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, well, the food's here. And I'm ready to eat. Fish out some noodles here. Oh, oh this is so good. Mark Weens, you have the expressions, but oh, I can tell you. The cow soy here is really good. You don't get this good a cow soy in uh, Bangkok because Northern Thailand is known for the cow soy. Okay, gypsies, well, I'm gonna finish this and I'll be talking to you a little bit later. Okay, I got a nice seat here with a great view. And here's the menu. Cow soy. Yeah, they have various types of cow soy and many more things in here, actually. This is not just for cow soy. Okay. Oh, look, the, the fan <laughs> opened the book for me automatically. All right, time to order. Okay, dinner is served. Here's the cow soy. And there's condiments that are with it. Onions and other uh, vegetables plus a little lemon. The cow soy, all the noodles are down on the bottom. Got crispy noodles on top, some delicious pork. Oh, this is going to be good. 
Okay, well, the food's here. I'm ready to eat. Fish out some noodles here. Oh, this is so good. Mark Weens, you have the expressions, but oh, I can tell you, the cow soy here is really good. You don't get this good of cow soy in uh, Bangkok because Northern Thailand is known for the cow soy. Okay, gypsies, well, I'm gonna finish this and I'll be talking to you a little bit later. Okay now, well the cow soy was delicious, but to tell you the truth, the portion was quite small and uh, for me it was like an appetizer or an entree. So I ordered some green curry with rice noodles Got some lettuce here, some uh, vegetable garnish, bean sprouts. So this is going to be my second course here. And believe it or not, both of these dishes together come to $5.75. <laughs> you wouldn't get either one of these for $5.75 in the U.S. They'd probably both be over $10. Okay, okay, gypsies. Well, it's time to eat. Hey, gypsies, that was some really delicious food. I wish you would have been there with me. Well, anyway, could you give me a thumbs up or leave a comment? It would really help my channel. Okay, hasta la próxima, gypsies.